we've seen a lot of uh, the main star players. Oh, Forsaken already gets a kill. As I was just talking about Jing, star players normally play Jet. But we also seen the Sage meta at the very beginning of Valorant, so I think it's going to be fine for him as Paper Rex get a second kill yet again. It's going to be oh. really difficult for Kodak right now as he get taken down one by one! <laughs> it just doesn't even matter. Off the first initial frag, just instant refrags come into play because Bankai is that quick. The IGL of Paper Rex, of course, calling well above and beyond he doesn't really care because he knows where the hit is coming and he's just preparing for it doesn't matter if he gets taken out as well because look at where mind freak is look at what he's doing he's got the frenzy he's just repositioning he's just reloading and he is getting that double They're actually holding down their position thank kai wait for them to push into him he gets traded this could be a weapon pickup but of course mind freak comes in to deny that and he has to reposition as well finds yet another one six rounds in the chamber connects it on towards aduka looks for the oh. fourth and he will connect as well so it's quite important that he actually gets some support. They go in to check it, but unfortunately swinging back and forth, it's going to be Mind Freak with the triple spray! He managed to stop them, and that leaves one player, Kale. He's not going to be able to do all that much alone now that his teammate Subei has fallen down middle as well. Repositions down into garage, maybe down into grass. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. Gets the headshot on to Jing. He left. has a little bit of time to plant the spike, but look at where the players are already headed towards. It's C-Link. It's into sight. Spike Bankai left. wants to shoot him down as soon as he gets off the spike. But Toda, he actually finds one. Marshals and the sheriffs are going to have to do all the talking. They actually should have flanked them, but unfortunately, he just stays on side instead. He doesn't even care as they stream into him. He gets the double spray. Forsaken there to back him up as well. Tries to go for the spray conversion. Whiffs. Fronts to the classic. thing. So they instantly come back around. Rugarach, he might be able to find something unless he smokes well through his vision. And Aduka is using that to exploit the sight. He comes in, takes down one, and looks to cut off even more from their rotations. He takes down Ben. Young as he is, he is not that one-man army he will be and this creates a bit of a triangle that he has to clear out gets the second goes back into maybe tap but at this point he has no more time to defuse and all of them looking down to take him out they will be able to spray it through and todok takes their foot through that thing you could lose your head so a dude has to be very careful in fact he times it perfectly but unfortunately will get shot down by forsaken who was hiding in the corner the whole time click makes it a trade and we're back to that 4v4 but then again, Sube, they're actually making the quick adaptation to push in to see what is Kale trying to do, though. He's all the way up towards the back. I know exactly where. I don't have a spike right now. There's a neural theft going to be used. Only two members of Paper X alive. But like you mentioned, Jing is not anyone to sneeze at, right? He can just take you down. They're actually committing for this. That lockdown is going to be committed as Benkai takes one kill. Jing gets one as well as Sube takes Benkai down. 1v2 for Jing. He wow. makes it a 1v1. They get flush out because of the kill joy lockdown as well. He's going to use that res to make it a 2v1. The spike is not down yet. And Jeed is going to have to play this 2v1. There it is, slow orb to put even more pressure onto Jeet, as if it wasn't already enough, and then Jin closes it out with the- He ate for breakfast, but I want some of that. Oh, Forsaken, get the first kill. Oh, oh did he get the second onto Subei as well? This blade storm getting committed, gets a third! Oh my god, that's Forsaken with four kills! <laughs> Almost the ace, and he's looking for you know he's one he's hunting that down. Might work out for them. The economy? Good. They're just round situation is so good as well, okay. but Aduka is going to be difficult to get into, especially if he can get that open kill, and they use the Seekers. It gives them a lot more information. Wow. Well, they finally make the decision to hit the B-side, but that is where Forsaken is lying in wait. The first shot rings true, and then he repositions. A little bit too much, though, because he gets tagged down by Kimi, and he will be the last player left alive as Scooby takes down yet another. But the shorties, he just jumps forward? Maybe even pick up the rifle? Ten he's a little bit scared. Left. But what he's really trying to do is to wait out the time. They go in for the plant. Planted. Of course, you got another player out over by the middle as well. He brings out the shot, and there it is. They see that opening. They seize. We have the operator that they picked up. It's on a duker right now. Oh! They planted. This is, though. They're trying to use all of Astra's utilities, and of course, you got Scooby just connecting all these shots! Aduka, the last one as well! Todok! It's old though, because if they rush back into him, and he if he doesn't find those strikes, that could be painful, but he finds every single one of them! Are you kidding me, Forsaken? All five in cowering with this operator on the other side. Not unless Aduka makes me eat my words, but there it is, that flick! He gets the first one, instantly jumps back, and G takes him down.
that could be the opening that they need, but just as soon as that happens, she pushes out. Todok are scrambling right now. They need to shoot down these aggressors, and there it is. Reset, recover, and find another opening. Sube might just be that, that sneaky agent, but oh, he came down, but firing shots off now. Devai is fully aware of their positions. He wants to take them down on his own, and he gets the first one. Not the spray conversion, however, but that buys enough time. Jean will not be able to reload, but he still takes down Ben Guy. Down to the 1v1. Estra versus Astra. And Mind Freak is looking for that victory. He's looking for that 8 to 4 scoreline at the end of the first half. Cosmic Divide. And Mind Freak knows it. Goes back in, firing shots, strafing left. Perhaps because Aduka is already looking for something up the A long position. Sube will be able to find one as well, but that. Oh, no. I know where he is. Wow. It's gonna There's be a free kill. Shot. It looks like Paper X are just gonna take Seaside for free. There are those stars. He places that back in. And then they get met with a guiding light yet again. Aduka landing the shot, though. Still sharp as ever. We'll take out the fragger from Paper Rex. And now it's looking to find an opening to retake. Unfortunately, I don't know if they have enough time. But still, at this range, Mind Freak will rain soon. It's not uh, Vestel. This is Paper Rex. Still, though, a little bit of an aggressive, aggressive play towards mid and looking for that retake potential. The wall goes up, however, and that is Jing doing his job. It's going to be a little bit more tricky for Todok to retake at this point. You've said it so many times, Marquis. A is the most difficult site to retake, and that wall doesn't make it any easier. Nano Swarm up towards heaven to deny them that position as well. But does Paper X know that Sube is coming from the back? That is what I'm most worried about. Still, though, Spectres... Ghost trying to stall and hold them back, and there it comes. Jing will be able to turn around and take down two. Tsubi comes in from the back, though, with a bulldog in hand. He's looking for that pick. He looks the wrong way, and Benkai just might be able to do it. Not unless Jeet can find that one shot, but he's bought enough time, and there it is, even with the final shot. He cannot move. He cannot do anything because paper... Neither rounds, and need to be careful about it as well. And Sube is just being sneaky, but unfortunately for him, Jing and Forsaken are just so omnipotent. They're aware. They're looking at every single possible angle. And now G is the last one on the site. He managed to get the first flick. Can he get the second? He does! Spike carrier killed, and all of a sudden, this is very winnable for Todok. They go back in, but Jing and Defy strike yet again. They strike back! And Todok got a good match point at this uh, right now. And I don't know how Todok can come back at this point. I actually thought that the Vi was trolling for sick in there. He popped that flash <laughs> right in front of for sick. I'm not kidding. You, you called the he's got his knives out. He's looking to be that goddess with the blade. Are Toda gonna allow him to do that though? He gets hit with the oh my god, the right click, the doggo, the stun. He's got the vandal. He's shooting them down, bursting it through. He gets yet another. And that just buys enough time. No way Todok recovers from this because every single player from Paper Rex is hunting them down. It's gonna be Jing. He's looking for the headshot. Aduka holding down with the operator. Will be able to get one, but he needs to shoot down three more on the other side. The second is even better. Pulls out the knives. Can he do it? He's looking all over the place. Gets flashed. Sends knives his way. Spends three. Spends two more. Can't connect it. And Ben Kai. <laughs> it must be something that they're trying. They're going to attack with their life. Because it is. Oh, I mean, it looks like Todak really, really want to win this map. Look at them pushing forward. Click get in towards A. A bit of an A split, but you got three players on the other side forsaken. No way you survived this. I know you're forsaken, but still. Jing will be able to find the first and then the second. But right now, it just seems like they're looking for kills left and right. Mind Free is going to get that first kill though. But again, this is an anti eco. This is their first Byron for Paper X. They have the rifles. They haven't really shown their hand. And there's the execution coming in. It's going to be delayed by the kill drive. Oh, Jing actually takes two day down. Mind that smoke. Dude, three people shooting down one spot. I'm amazed that Kale did not get wall banged, but there we go. They've gotten control. They're going in to cut them off on the rotations and click. Dude, he hears him on the outside. He's going to run a gun down with the Spectre, but what he doesn't know is for safe. We got to make it fast because right now, Aduka is the one that can slow them down. Operator already ringing off the first shot. He gets flashed, but that's not a problem. Repositions, but all of a sudden that changes. 
Forsaken and Defy just walk up front, fight two frags. Kale can stop them with the off angle, but no, he falls. Defy continues to push up front, finds the triple. Sube all the way from the A side. The sl I know, but guys. Okay, but come on. People off guard. It's something that, you know, Nat said on his stream. People always expect him to lurk now. Uh, if, if you just change up your roles, I guess Toda kind of get confused, but there we go. Aduka's looking for that. He's getting a third. He's going to get the fourth. No, that gets denied, but that's okay because now they have control over the site. They could get the defuse. What is Dubai going to do now that he's on the other side of Garden? Trying to fire so it off continuously, but they're sticking the defuse. It doesn't these paper X are playing a really confusing strategy right now. But there's still a chance that they might be able to turn this on on its head. Uh Aduka, he's come he's forcing Paper Rex. The entire Todak squad wants Paper Rex to respect them, wants Paper Rex to fear them. But it just seems like Paper X is not going to budge at all. Thank Kai with the slow P slowly clearing out the site, I guess. I'm sticking. Should be. Exactly. They, they need the, the spike planted. But there we go. Flash out. Devai holding the left side. What about the right? And that is where they might just get bit in the back. Kale finding the first one. Looking for the second now as he dances back and forth. But of course, my freak is still good for yet another. And then Ben Kai comes in. Marching under. Kale. Oh my god. Is this crab walk strike actually gonna work? He'll find the first one, but then the trades go through. Might freak gets traded again. The spike is dropped right outside of market. Forsaken picks it up. Okay, where's he going now? I can't believe that worked for a bit. Although he did find a kill, he did not oh! notice that someone is going in. But Aduka is there to take Forsaken down. And Paper Rex, I still don't know what their plans are. Like, what is their game plan right now? Whoa! He just uh, two players, unless he can find some kind of space, it's gonna be difficult for it. Aftershock to block off market, but then Sube on the other side. Push. But what next? I don't know. They're having a little bit of fun, but here it comes. Coordinated ultimates, and there it is the frag to start things off. Then even more follow through. Kale, good for the refrag. And of course, Jeet hiding at the back of Boathouse. My freak is kind of aware of this, going in to check and clear it out, but you gotta do it together with your teammates, buddy. Unfortunately for him, he drops and then his teammate falls as well. There is no trade. It's a down to the TV2 on the other side, though, and Aduka is making it even more difficult. The operator of all things. Forsaken down to red HP. He knows one player is in by the boathouse, but he cannot quite clear it out. They're still trying to hold on to A, and it looks like Paper Rex are just going to be able to get in. Let's see if they can clear this out, though, as Sube takes Jing down, but Jeet is up at heaven as well. Benkai is going to take him down, though, and oh Sube is going to get taken down by Forsaken as well, and looks finally good for Paper X. Finally, I think this was their plan. Uh, they kind of they know what to do, even instinctively. Using the smokes, going into the corners of the site, and uh, actually finding these players hiding behind the boxes. Now, fault line in towards Kale as Forsaken jumps up top. Last player that remains is Aduka with his operator, and as soon as he backs off, Davai hears the foot. Are actually thinking because there's two players on the flank right now. Mind Freak looks away at the wrong time. There's a little bit of timing going on the side of Todek, but they're going to execute onto the B right now. There's the aftershock coming out. They're going to try to clear both out. Sube actually stayed inside her because of the Sage slow. And because of that slow orb, he was actually stuck there. Couldn't peek out. Forsaken takes on click, and the site left. is free for them. Aduka takes Forsaken down, though, with that operator. He's planned. But Todas got plans as well. It all is up to Devai in a 1v3. He doesn't have to worry too much about door, though, but there's coming through. He hears the tap. Wants to be careful about it. As soon as he peeks out, doesn't expect G to be in the corner, but fire shots right shapes. And it makes you kind of want to cry a little bit because the Vi is going to push up into market, not clearing his corners. Something that you don't really expect a team like Paper X to do. But Ben Kai is looking to avenge his fallen brother. Finds two, but there it is. Wants to pick up the spike a little bit too far away. An instant refract comes out in the form of G. And now Paper X has to stumble and kind of recover. Can they really do it? No. So the squad coming a little bit late. Is this going to be that 5v5 retake, Marquis? Yeah, it's definitely going to be the 5v5. They have the tools for it, though. They can get the flashes back in. It's going to be easier for them on this defensive side because they know where everyone is. But Suwei is oh, going to get the first kill onto Mind Freak. Oh, jeez. 
And that's something that doesn't really go too well as we have the frenzy in the form of click this time. Not my freak, it's click! Aduka as well as he puts that final click. Duelists as well as they push into Skype. Aggressive plays gives them aggressive frags and entries. Aduka puts his foot down on the A side, puts on the ground, and my freak is looking to deny it. A triple spray as well. With Bankai helping from the back, Divide getting the fourth and play style. Cosmic Divide blocks it off, and he has to slow them down. Gravity Well sucks three of them in, but unfortunately they just hurt around that uh, fragment. Forsaken still spring through that will be able to stop them, and there is the strength of this lineup. Seemingly impregnable, and Jeet will not be able to carry that spike forward. Sube tries to find something right around the corner. Message wow. Like Jing is gonna take that first kill, even take the second onto Aduka, is able to top himself off with the heal as well. Subei takes Forsaken down across the map, but Jing does have the rest. Teammate might be a little bit too far for him to rest though. I like this position. Device got his rendezvous. Finds the frag, looks for the second V4. And Podak, they want to take this, but they get shoved back. Benkai, bloody! You're just gonna push into them. He gets the first one, looks for the second, thought he was behind the box, but Deed comes out and peekaboo. A triple kill is what he has. Does he know that two players are behind him though? I don't think so. He actually turns to look, but oh, there it is. All the bells and whistles. What are Todak going to do? They walk up front, a bit of a friendly damage thing from, from the fragment, but still it doesn't matter. Mind for Jing, Divai, they're getting frags. He is talking about. So, Todok, they need, like we said before, they need to work together as a team. They need to find some way to disable the star fraggers on the side of Paper X. And Aduka coming in and outside of Garden might just be the one to do it. Found a little bit, and now he's looking in towards Heaven. They need to back him up as well. Unfortunately, though, team element isn't really there and because of that spike gets disabled towards a main still though the frex ring true wants that altor but okay not to mention the other side they're playing for trades every single position is well thought out and there it is the first connection he confirms it they know the hit is coming in towards b aduka goes to grab all of a sudden and he's looking to burst them down Knives out and he wants to push this into overtime, but can he really do it? Forsaken sprays forward. Jin comes in to help. Aduka is not alive anymore and there I just can't believe that somehow we're seeing Forsaken on Astra and it's working. Paper X really making things work. And they're definitely the better team because like you mentioned, they are top one in Malaysia Singapore for a reason. And all five of the players can frag. Bird goes down and they're looking to find ways to trade and get picks, but wow. Rendezvous away. We got Mind Freak Saken just hiding. Making sure that if they push out, him with the off angle will be the ones to spray them down. Aduka finds something, but now 10 seconds remaining. You got the slow orb as well. G can't find anything. Spike dropped. Aduka, what were you doing? All the way on the other side. He's looking for picks. He's going to get them, but the round is gone. And just like that, even with the triple kill.